Bran is taking a stroll with Lollies just outside of Castle Stokeworth. Lollies talks at length about the upcoming wedding, but Bran seems uninterested about discussing it. He does comfort Lollies when she talks about her sister Fallis, saying that mean people will always get what they deserve. The two are interrupted when they see Jamie near the castle. Jamie intends to bring Marcella Baratheon back from Dawn to King's Landing and wants Bronn to help him. He also reveals that Cersei has arranged for Willis Bracken to wed Lollies instead of him, which angers Bronn, as he and Cersei had an agreement. Jamie, however, tells Bronn that he will get a much better girl and a much better castle once they return. Bronn asks where they are going, and Jamie responds, as far south as south goes. Bronn and Jaime journey to Dawn on board a merchant's ship which is heading to Old Town, jumping ship when they reach the Dornish coastline. Having visited Dawn before, he warns Jaime how dangerous the Dornish are, especially since they despise the Lannisters. Bronn questions Jaime why he simply didn't send someone else to bring Marcella back to King's Landing, but Jaime insists that he must be the one to accomplish this task. Bronn accurately guesses that Jaime must have released Tyrion from imprisonment, which led to his father's death. Bronn guesses that rescuing Marcella may be the only way for Jaime to make things right with Cersei. Remembering his old employer, Bronn asks Jaime to give Tyrion his regards if the brothers ever reunite, but Jaime replies that he would kill Tyrion if he ever saw him again. At night, Bronn and Jaime land on the Dornish coast and make camp. In the morning, Bronn saves Jaime from a snake that was about to bite him, which they cook for breakfast. While eating, Bronn remarks that a snake bite would be a shit way to die but Jamie believes that all forms of dying are shit ways. Bronn expresses that he would prefer to die in the comfort of his own home as his son's grovel for his money, while Jamie wishes to die in the arms of the woman he loves. As they depart, Bronn is skeptical that the merchant captain who helped smuggle them into Dawn will keep his mouth shut, even though Jamie gave him a generous amount of gold. Soon after, they are discovered by a passing group of Dornish guards. Although Bronn tries to convince them they are simply lost travelers, the leader orders them to throw their swords in the sand. The two comply, but Bronn swiftly dispatches two of the guards and kills the horse of another, leaving him for Jamie. Jamie manages to block a fatal blow with his golden hand and kills his opponent, while Bronn kills the fourth and final guard. Bronn is happy to finally own a Dornish stallion, but an annoyed Jamie orders Bronn to dig graves for the four guards so no one discovers the bodies. Disguised as Dornish soldiers, Bronn and Jaime finally reach the water gardens and search for Marcella. They find her with Tristane Martel, and she is visibly surprised to see Jaime there. When Tristane attempts to intervene, Bronn advises him to step aside and let Jaime and Marcella talk. Tristane notices the blood on Jaime and Bronn's uniforms and goes for his sword, but Bronn strikes him out and he falls to the ground. They are attacked by the Sand Snakes, Ober and Martel's daughters who plan to kidnap Marcella. Bronn fights with Tyene Sand and Nymeria Sand, easily keeping up with both of them despite taking a small wound, until Ario Hota and the Dornish Guard appear and order them all to stand down. After a few tense moments, Bronn drops his sword and is arrested along with the others. He teases Tyene about her age, but she is restrained from attacking him. Bronn is locked in the dungeons along with the Sand Snakes repeatedly singing, the Dornishman's wife, and gaining Tyene's interest, who asks him about his arm. Bronn claims to be fine, and comments on Tyene's beauty, though comparing her unfavorably to other Westerosi women he has been with. Tyene begins to remove her clothes to raise Bronn's blood pressure, causing his nose to bleed and his head to spin, making him collapse. Tyene reveals that she had coated her knives with poison and it is slowly killing him, but shows that she has the antidote and will only give it to him if he says she is the most beautiful woman he has ever seen. Bronn only barely manages to say it and she throws him the antidote, which he drinks, apparently making him feel better. Bronn is later released from custody and brought before Doran Martel on Jamie's request. Though Doran is prepared to punish Bronn for his actions, Jamie speaks up for him, claiming that Bronn was only following his orders. Bronn's fate is left up to Tristane who agrees to show Bronn mercy and set him free, on the condition that Hota strike him across the face in retaliation for Bronn having struck him earlier. Hota does the deed. After being released, Bronn is at the docks with Jamie, Marcella, and Tristane ready to board a ship back to King's Landing. As Doran sees the group off wishing them a safe journey home, Tyene flirts with Bronn, telling him she might come visit him, 
to which Bronn sarcastically replies not to wait too long as he's got a noblewoman to marry back home. Tyeen cheekily tells him he wants a good girl but needs a bad pussy, and playfully bites his ear. Upon being called by Jamie, Bronn boards the boat that is to take them to their ship and leaves Dawn. However, after the ship has set sail, Marcella succumbs to poison that was stealthily given to her by Ilaria Sand before their departure.